back. Glory to God. The Bible says, for the wicked of his sake good way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Leave the old life behind and embrace the new life of Christ. Holiness. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Without holiness, no one sees God. And this is the world where people are very, very unholy, full of rage, full of violence, full of anger. Yeah. And the Bible says, Come to me. Are ye he weary, heavy laden? And I will give you rest for your souls. Oh, this world needs rest for their souls. This world is stressed. This world needs the Lord. This world needs to repent, repent, repent. Because a lot of wickedness in this land. A lot of abortions. There's a lot of uh, homosexuality. There's a lot of murder, a lot of stealing, a lot of a lot of strife, a lot, a lot, a lot of domestic violence. Oh, God is not pleased. Oh, this blood shed all around the streets. There's blood shed every day because mankind is depraved. Mankind has become corrupted more and more. For the love of many will grow cold in the last days. This world needs a Lord. This world needs a, a power, a source that's higher, that's better. Glory to God. And God can give you the peace that passes all understanding. Got people here who are who are not acknowledging God. They don't acknowledge God. Oh, they play their music that doesn't glorify God. Nothing about God in these songs. Nothing. Oh, it's all about just the music. It's all about just pleasing the genitals, pleasing the flesh. That's all the music wants you to do. It's calculated, coordinated to just please your flesh. That's all the music is out for you to do. Yes, a lot of these songs, they don't glorify God. They glorify woman. They glorify money. They glorify self. Oh, no. That's what the devil wants. The devil wants you to play this satanic music in your ears. Oh, that's the devil's agenda to put satanic rubbish in your mind. Oh, yeah. You can get power over vaping. You can get power over smoking. You can get power over homosexuality. You can get power over hatred. Oh, God can give you power today to live holy, to live righteously. He said, be, he said live soberly, gingerly, vigilantly. Amen. Bible says to live righteous, soberly, gingerly, carefully, live in expectation of your terminality, live in expectation that today can be your last, live in expectation that it's not always going to be footing games. Live in expectation that the Lord is calling you. Judgment, judgment day will will be here one day. One day there will be a judgment day. And Christ is saying today is a day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. But today is the day. Oh, not tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow, not next week.
today is the day. Glory to God. Bible, Bible says God is wants us to be of a contrite and of a penitent heart. A contrite and a penitent soul. Yes, but many are not humble. Many are full of pride. Many are full of pride. God says, when you humble yourself, God will exalt you. When you humble yourself and realize your feebleness and you realize your weakness and you realize your inclination to sin, God will raise you up. God, let God be glorified and the devils horrified. Let Jesus Christ be lifted up. Oh, but the devil wants you to rise up your sin. He wants you to glorify your sin. The devil wants you to glorify him. And if you're not with him, you're against him. If you're not with him, you are totally against him. Amen. Bible says, forsake your sin, forsake your old way, forsake the hood way, forsake the gangster way, forsake the thuggish way. It all leads to death and, and, and jail time. It all leads to incarceration. It all leads to baby mama drama. Oh, your way leads to death. Your way leads to death darkness all oh, your way is not of God your way is of the devil most of y'all most of you are living weird living odd living disgusting you know there's a guy over here there was a guy over here not too long ago and this dude my, it was my fault this dude, this dude selling candy. He's selling candy. He said, give me change for a $20 bill. This dude gave me back $5 bill and a couple of dollars. Oh, he scammed the heck out of me. He scammed me. Right over there. He probably left now. Uh-oh. You know, I forgive him. Even though he slammed my phone down. Uh, threw my camera at me. It wasn't my phone. What, what, whatever it was. He scared me. You know why? Because that's the corrupt heart. That's the evil way. When people want to steal and scam. And that's why they end up in prison. They end up with people chasing after them for their money. They got a hit on them. They got a bounty on them. Got these young boys out here. Young boys are the ones that do stuff like that. Steal your money, scam you. Cause they're full of devils. They're cowards. Yeah, they're all full of devils. That's why they need Jesus. Oh, that's why they need Jesus Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. Without Jesus, you're prone to sin. Oh, without Jesus, you're prone to do wrong. Without Jesus, you live wicked. Without Jesus, you stay a drunkard. Without Jesus, you remain a whore. Without Jesus, you easily cheat on your man or woman. Oh, without Jesus, you, you abuse your spouse. You abuse your kids. You run to the gun, you run to the knife to solve your problems, you're wicked. Without Jesus, you got a potty, filthy mouth. You need the Lord. Hallelujah. Why did it, why did this police out here? There's police out here cause you're wicked. Your know, people are wicked and evil and do evil things. Oh, they're wicked out here. Yeah. Police are on my side. Yeah, call me the call me the spiritual police. <laughs>
<laughs> Call me the spiritual police. Hallelujah. Oh. Bible said, let the wicked forsake his way. And unrighteous this man is starts return to the Lord. He will have mercy on him. To our God. He will have abundantly pardon. I, I gotta switch up my mic real quick. This one not too good. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. sinful lives they think they're right with God but they're not if you claim to be right with God be living in sin you're living wrong you're living <laughs> wicked yeah Jesus said repent or perish he said repent or perish you, you think God is, you think God is okay with you being homosexual oh no oh no he says Man and woman. He said, repent homosexuals. He said, repent drunkards. He said, repent porn watchers. Repent liars. Repent thieves. Repent murder. Repent whores. Repent drug dealers and gangsters and thugs. All oh, repent. You want to just plead your genitals all day? You want to please your penis and vagina all night long? You're of the devil. You're living wicked. You're living vile. They just want to just get high, get drunk, get laid. They have no, they have no desire for God. They got no desire for God. When you, when you love the Lord, you do what is right. You, you, you live holy. You don't do what's wrong. You do what's right. Yes, that's why a lot of people have cheating on their spouses. You know why? Because they watch their pornography. That's exactly one big reason. The, the sexual immorality is wicked. It's all over the place. That's why you got people with the STDs. You got people with syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes. Oh, all sorts of wickedness. Bible's not, Bible's clear that if you, that all who practice such things, lying, stealing, murdering, whoring around, those will not inherit the kingdom of God. We need the word of God in your life. You know you don't got true, true joy. You know you don't got true peace in your life. You know you're full of depression. You know you're full of suicidal thoughts. No, don't hide it with, with, on your alcohol. Don't hide it with your one night stands. Stand for Jesus. Oh, you're coming to the pain with liquor. You're coming to pain with antidepressants you're coming to pain but you know you're in pain inside 
You know you need Jesus. You know when they're gonna die, take your last breath. Some of you all don't know how to keep a penis in your pants. You don't know what it means to be have self-control. You have no idea what it means. You cheat. You steal. You lie. Why is there so much crime in the world? Evil in the world? You don't read your Bibles. You don't play filthy gangster rap music. Oh, you want to smoke your marijuana and weed? You want to get you want to get jerked off every night? Penetrate ladies every night? You are living in sin, wickedness, rebellion. Oh, you got devils inside of you, demons. You can be free in Jesus' name right now. Hallelujah. Oh, most people won't tell the truth like this. They're gonna come, come and say, oh, it's okay to be homosexual. It's okay to be a drunk. It's okay to do to cheat every day, now and then. God bless you, God bless you. It's okay to be an atheist. No, it's not okay. Sin is never okay. Sin leads to the grave. Sin leads to death. Sin leads to pain. Sin leads to baby mama drama. Sin leads to STDs. Sin leads to war. Rage. The Bible says, why do you, why do you wage war amongst yourselves? It's because of, of your desires inside of you. Your corrupt desires. That leads you to do bad things. Everything that you do starts with a desire. You desire to go to Coney Island today, so you went here. You it started with a desire. You wanted to have some sex. It started with a desire. You want to get a job. It starts with a desire. Whether it's good or evil, it starts with desires. What is your desire today? What is your, is your desire for God? You know why I'm here doing it? Because I have a desire to please the Lord. Most of you will never do this because you're too afraid. You're, you're too timid. You're afraid of what people are going to think and say. But God is calling you home. God is calling you to home. He's saying, why will you sin? Why will you die before your time? Why will you die prematurely? Why the real joy, the real pleasure is in knowing God, is in serving God. That's a true, that's a true joy. I'm trying to save somebody from going to jail tonight. I'm trying to save somebody from getting an EMS car tonight for their liver, for the alcohol drinking. I'm trying to spare your kidneys. I'm trying to spare your genitals from warts, rubies. The Bible says, you know what, a lot of you can't stay faithful to your woman. The Bible says, why should I behold a fair maiden and look upon her? Yeah, it's a looking problem. You got an eye problem. Yeah, eye problem. That's what they call an iPhone and an iPad and I, all the eye, all the eyes. It's about pleasing the eye. I want to please eye, please eye. And your eye, got no control over your eyes, it leads to cheating. It leads to fornication. At least the unwanted babies, at least the STDs, because you have no control over what you look at. Oh, you got no control, but God can give you self control. Crap, you don't have any self control at all. They're living wicked, living vile, living satanic. Yes, I'm here to help out the police with the crime issues in this world. Yes, the thug life, the gangster life will lead you down a bad path. Yeah. You you, you want to please the world and not please God, you're living dangerously. People want to please the people around them and not please God. Only God has the final verdict. Oh, God has commissioned me to judge. He said, a spiritual man judges all things, but only God gives the final verdict. Only God gives the final verdict. And if you don't repent of your sin, you're going to be lost. It's as simple, straight to the chase as that. But God give you peace of mind, strength, love, joy. Oh, that's what we need. We need the joy of the Lord. I'm trying to speak against depression. I'm trying to speak against suicide right now. I want to speak against your angry thoughts, your suicidal thoughts. You know, porn no leads to suicidal thoughts. Did you know that? Porno leads to anxiety, 
and depression. Oh yes, it does. It leads you to easily cheat on your spouse. Yes, the porno is a no-no. The horn around is a no-no. Oh, God can give you peace, give you strength, give you purpose. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. He said, forsake your sin, turn to righteousness. Make our police officer job easier. Turn to righteousness. Turn to the Lord. Forgive one another. Be patient. Forgiven. Hallelujah. Come to the Lord. Say, I repent of my sin. I repent of my wicked ways. I repent of my drunken ways. I repent of my horn ways. I repent of my lying, stealing ways. I repent of my homosexual ways. I repent of my party mouth. Yes, oh God can give you freedom, liberation. You don't gotta stay in sin anymore. World is crazy because of the darkness of sin. The world is crazy because of the darkness of sin. But sin leads to death. Sin leads to tragedy after tragedy. Oh, it leads to tragedy. You got people who don't know who solve problems with their guns, with their knives. They don't allow the Lord into their soul. They don't allow the Lord into their mind. Oh, all they do is think about who, who they're gonna shack up with, mess around with. Hello, STDs. Hello, broken hearts. Hello, depression. Hello, devils. Oh, that's what your way leads to. Pain, misery, and anger. Your way. Leads to death. Oh, the Bible says, forsake your sin. You have more value than how you look or how, or how you talk. You have more value than, than what you make yourself out to be. You got value. You got value beyond your body. You got value b b beyond some sexual performance. You got value beyond your, your breasts and booty. You got value beyond beyond all your, your physical features. God is concerned about your mind. God is concerned about your soul, your character. Yes, your soul, your mind. Hallelujah. God is saying today is the day of salvation. You can be free today. You can be liberated today. You don't gotta stay angry, bitter, depressed any longer. Oh yes, somebody scammed me not too long ago, but I still got the joy of the Lord. It wasn't that much money, like nine dollars. <laughs> yes, because of sin. The people do that because of sin. They scam, they lie. Oh, but God wants to expose you to the gospel. God, you want to expose everything else. You want to expose the world to your porno, your gangster rap, your your lewd living, your craziness. But you don't want to hear about the word of God. Oh, you love darkness. You love, that's what it is. You love darkness. You love, you love violence. That's what you like. Oh, so when people come and try and tell the truth, you don't like it. Oh, the Bible says, let the wicked forsake his way, and your unrighteous man's thoughts return to the Lord, and you have mercy, mercy, mercy upon him. I'm trying to save from going to the back of this truck. This EMS truck. Some of you have some liver cancer soon and need the back of this EMS truck. Oh! I'm trying to spare you. I'm trying to spare you from going to the back of this EMS truck. Oh, hallelujah. God says he can set the captive free. You don't, you're like a mouse in a mouse trap. You're stuck. Oh, you're stuck in sin. But God can give you freedom. Hallelujah. He said today is a day of salvation. He said today, peace. He said there's no peace for the wicked. He said uh, Christ is the Prince of Peace. Oh, this is a world where, where there is no peace. This is a world where there is no peace. You got a little joy for the moment, a little, little happiness for the moment. But it's easily, it easily goes away. 
but God can help you to keep that joy inside. Oh, you can keep that joy. Man, you only, only, only have one night stand to get real joy, man. That's not real joy. Drunkenness don't give you real joy. Fornication and homo, homosexuality don't give you true joy. Stealing, lying don't give you true joy, man. Oh, don't give you true joy. Hallelujah. But Jesus gives you true joy. Jesus gives you true purpose. He is the way, the truth, and the life. You're going to die, or you get the guy's car, man, but it's good, it's good. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father by Him. Oh, you need joy, you need peace, you need love. Where's the love, where the love at? Where's the love? Oh, you easily curse out people. You easily cheat around. You easily get angry. You easily get worried. You easily cheat on your woman. You easily cheat on your man. Easy to sin, cause you're living in sin. You don't give no, you don't, you don't, you don't put power to the flesh, um, to the spirit. You don't work on your spirit. You work on your flesh. Oh, you just watch your porno all night. You watch your gangster, gangster rap shows all night. Oh, you just wank off every night, whore around every night. You know you're living wrong. You know it. Don't ignore it. Uh oh, you know it. Don't ignore it. Oh, you know it. God give you freedom today. No more sin. Sin, sin, sin. You will never win, win, win. Living in sin. You will never win. Sin, sin, sin. You won't win, win, win. Oh, DJ Kyle say, All I do is win. Oh, no, without Christ, you can't win. Without Christ, there is no winning. It's the only lose. Without Jesus, without Jesus, you only lose. You may win for the moment, temporary, but it's all short-lived. Your pleasure is short-lived. Your, your horny around is short-lived. Your thug, is, your thug life is short-lived. Your gangster rap is short-lived. Your homosexual is short-lived. It's all short-lived. The Bible says, uh, the presence of sin is, is for a season. The presence of sin is for a season. And Jesus is the reason for the season. Hallelujah. There is no one that's ever lived a wonderful life like him beyond what we've ever lived before. The highest example of holiness, righteousness, oh, and joy. Joy to the world. Because without Jesus, there is no true joy. You need joy. You come to Jesus, you say, Lord, I've sinned and done what is wrong. Oh, how I need you. How I need Jesus. How I need Jesus. You need him. If I, you know why you're so full of anger? You have no, you have no Jesus. You're full of pride. You got no Jesus. We live in sin, wickedness. You got you don't know about Jesus. But you need the salvation of the Lord. You need his peace today. Oh, come to him. Repent. Repent. You need his grace. You need his joy. Hey, you know somebody scammed me not too long ago. A few dollars. I, am, I, I forgive him. You know why? I got Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, the Bible says, Let everyone who, who has sto stolen steal no more. Every whore go home to your husband. Every slut go home to your husband. Every pimp daddy go home to your Go get a wife, pimp. Go get a wife, pimp daddy. Oh, you're living wicked. You got to stop with your, with your, your random organ, your, your, your random. Oh, man. You, you want to get laid? God will, one day your body will be laid down in the, in the coffin. Your body will be laid down in the coffin. You want to get laid every night. Think about your life. How fleeting it is, temporary it is. How are you living? 
If you're living in sin, it's going to death. Oh, the Bible says wickedness. The Bible says come to the Lord. The Bible says come to Jesus. The Bible says, oh, stop living wicked. Let go of your anger. And let go of your pride. Let go of your anger. Let go of your pride. Put the gun down and pick up a Bible. Put the gun down and pick up a Bible. Oh, go find a wife, find a husband, stop hoeing around with random girls. Stop hoeing around with random girls. You need zipper control. You got no zipper control? Oh, you need Jesus. Come on, bro. You need Jesus. Oh, Missy Elliot said, lose control. Oh, Jesus said, no, take control. If you lose control, there's only death. If you lose control, there's only pain. Oh, if you lose control, there's only pain and death. You gotta lose control. You gotta be faithful to your woman, faithful to your man. It's not being a whore. It's not being a slut. Stop being a pimp daddy. It's wickedness. Don't die your sin and be lost. Repent. Turn away. Oh, turn away. Love warns you. Love warns you. I'm trying to warn you that your ways is of the devil. Hallelujah. Oh, I come against depression now. I come against suicide now. I come against anxiety right now. In Jesus' name, I come against anger. Come against lying. Come against stealing. Come against the fornication. Oh, I come against homosexuality. Oh, I come against sorcery. Oh, I come against that gangster rap music. Oh, I come against that pornography. Oh, porno is a no-no. Porno is a no-no. Heck no, the porno. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you need peace. Give me sexual purity. And God give you sexual purity today. Today, today. Sexual purity. But all of you are sluts. Love you always. Repent, repent, repent. And turn to God. Repent and turn to God. This is life to your soul. You got to hear this word. Life to your soul, soul to your life. <laughs> oh God, I can help you to alleviate the strife. Stop sitting every day and night. Oh, stop, stop getting high as a kite. God, give you peace of mind. He, that, he can be at your side. Oh, in him you can't confide. Oh, put the gun down and pick up a Bible. Put the gun down and pick up a Bible. Put the knife down and pick up a Bible and say, Lord, how I need you, Lord, how I need you, Lord, how I praise you, Lord, how I honor you. Without God, you can't breathe. Without God, there's no sunlight. Praise God. Without God, you have no, you have no arms, no legs. No, you can't, you can't have sex without God. Without God, you can't have sex without God. The Lord. Amen. Bible says, come out of your sin. Bible says, the wicked will perish. And all those who know not God. Bible says, repent. The time is at hand. Repent or perish. Hallelujah. A lot of you are living wicked, sleeping around, going around. Gangster rap music blowing in your ears. All that gangster rap music is, is, is on the highway to, the, to be lost. Oh, that gangster rap music is making you more aggressive. You're so aggressive, you know why? That gangster rap music is making you so aggressive. Oh. And make people look at women as objects. Women are not just, women are more than just some people for your sexual gratification. Women got purpose. Women got value. 
women are more than just a blow job with an orgasm, having a good sexual time. It's about pleasing God. Oh, and have you abused these ladies? You abuse your genitals. You abuse your mind with this gangster rap music, with this porno, with your violent movies. You pollute your mind, you pollute your soul. So you just play Grand Theft Auto all day long. All GTA all day long. Fortnite all day long. Living wicked. And all you know is death. All you know is anger. All you know is pain. Come on, come on, Jesus. If you're a whore today, you're gonna repent. Oh, if you're a drunker today, God can give you victory. Over the vodka bottle. Over the tequila bottle. <laughs> over the Hennessy bottle. You don't want liver cancer. Oh, man. Come on, lady. Cover up, man. Your husband needs to see that, man. Not, not the whole public. Oh, I'm trying to, you need to value your body, ladies. Hallelujah. Butt peg poking out. You know, it, it, it's like a walking porno spectacle. It's wicked. It's the devil. You need to expose for your husband. Expose your body to your husband, ladies. At the public. Oh, Jesus. How we need you. Yeah. Amen. The Lord says in his word, repent, for the time is at hand. Amen. The Lord says, take my hand. Repent. Repent. Anger does not produce God's righteousness. Yeah. Why there's so much crime? Anger. Anger does not produce God's righteousness. Uh oh. Anger leads to violence. Anger leads to rage, brutality. Anger leads to crime escalated. Let the Lord be with your anger. Anger does not produce God's righteousness. Anger rests in the bosom of fools. You don't want to be a fool tonight. You don't want to be a fool tonight. Our oh, anger will suppress your immune system. Anger will, will release cortisol at your adrenal glands and, and inhibit digestion. Anger affects you morally and physiologically, anatomically. Anger destroys you. Anger degrades you. Anger debilitates you. But Jesus can rehabilitate you. He can give you the rehab that you need. You need the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Some of you are about to get drunk tonight. Oh, your liver is suffering. You want to get drunk? Your kidneys are suffering. You want to get drunk? Your brain cells are suffering. Alzheimer's disease. Dementia disease. Parkinson's. No. Oh, I'm trying to spare you. The Lord. There's better things to drink than alcohol. There's water. Wow. I didn't know that one there. Water. Uh, fruit smoothies, almond milk, my personal favorites, my personal favorites. Yeah, there's much better things to drink than liquor. Oh man, stop and don't, don't abuse your wife. Don't lick her. <laughs> don't lick her. Honor the woman. If you're an abusive man, you need to stop it. Treat that woman like a queen. Treat that woman like a queen. As you dig in into your lean cuisine. <laughs> Treat her like a queen. A lot of you are smiling now, but later on you're gonna be frowning. You go back closed doors, suffering under depression. 
suffering under anxiety, suffering under suicidal thoughts, suffering. We need Jesus. The way, the truth, and the life. Some of you are more focused on what you're wearing, what you got on, what you're gonna buy. All these is temporary. But what about your character? What about building your character? What about building your mind? What about building your purpose? What about building love for people? Oh, I like a nice building. How about you build your mind, build your soul, build your character, build your life, build your money, build your wealth, build your legacy, build, build. And I saw Jesus tells us, it's a build. Brother, you're tearing down your mind with your filthy living. Your filthy living. You're whoring around. Your sex out of marriage. Your homosexuality. Your pornography. Your, your scamming. Your potty mouth. Oh, you're filling your mind with garbage. Garbage in. Oh, garbage out. So if you want to get better in life, you got to fill your mind with better things. Amen. Some say, why are you preaching? Why are you, why are you preaching? Well, somebody usually responds. Somebody who needs it usually responds. Uh, it may not be you, but somebody will. Hallelujah. You want the medicine, you take it or leave it. You, you don't got to take it if you don't want the medicine. Amen. But true medicine is Jesus. True medicine is Jesus. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Just, uh, he got first place, right? Much love. Much love. True medicine is Jesus. Oh, you take your Motrin. You take your Tylenol. You get your um, your uh, COVID-19 vaccine, which doesn't work. Oh, but you still die. You still die. You eat, you drink, you have sex, you procreate, you take showers, but you still die. You take medicine all your life, medicine after medicine, you still die. And if there is no God to resurrect your dead body, what's the point? But Christ has the ultimate medicine of resurrection. Uh oh. Only Christ. Can, only the Lord can resurrect your dead body. But we can't do that. So we need his medicine of eternal life. Yeah, you know, you know that so called Dragon Ball Z. Talk about, I will give you eternal life. Just grab the Dragon Balls and you will have eternal life. Grant you the wish. And they, and they summon some, some green dragon named Senron. And, but the devil is the pit as a dragon. So the villain says, oh Senron, give me eternal life. Uh-huh, in a cartoon. And they want to live forever. Even the cartoon, they want to live forever. Because the people who make these movies and cartoons, oh, deep down, they want to live forever. So they make these movies and cartoons showing the need, the desire for us to want to live forever. You got it in uh, Marvel movies and uh Capcom video games and Sony got stuff out about that and all over about eternal life But only God gives eternal life We want it deep inside But we look to other avenues other sources to get eternal life Amen Enjoy life all you want But don't ignore the obvious one day, you're all going to die. 
And as for the God, don't ignore 